We are getting ready to head out to Wyoming to hunt mule deer with Bruce Udala, so we're pretty pumped up. A1 Archery, hunting 365, no off season. You heard that? I don't see it. It's right oh, in the bank over oh, there. We found several good deer. Now we just have to watch them and let them get into a spot where we can stalk them. And on my first stalk, I decided to pass this deer as it didn't look as big as we thought before we stalked it. This deer is in a great spot, so we decided to try for him. We're coming up the back side of this butte and Matt sees a doe and we get to looking and it turns out there was a couple of bucks just off to the right of them. And uh, we started picking out more and more and more bucks. Finally, Matt recognizes stickers down there. And this is a buck that we've seen a couple of times and we contemplated if we should shoot him or not because he's kind of a, he's a really nice deer but he's missing a point on the one side. He's really a four by three but he's got a lot of neat character. So I told Matt, grab the camera, follow me. If we can get in a good spot, uh, I'll maybe try to take a shot at him. So I wasn't 100% totally committed until we got up over the hill. Matt was right behind me and he was actually down there facing the other way. So I ranged him, he was 45 yards. It was a little bit windy and I didn't really like the shot because it was low. It, it looks good, but low. He ran off. We're going to watch him for a little while and see what he does. Hopefully I hit him good enough to where we're not going to have to mess with him anymore. But if not, we may have to sneak in there and, and maybe do a follow-up shot. But it just all depends on how low I hit him. I, I really didn't like the shot, but, you know, I can't take it back. So we're going to just give him a little bit of time and then see what happens. But uh, hopefully, cross our fingers, uh, we're going to have us a, a deer to celebrate over tonight. So stay tuned. Matt stayed back with the camera on a high point so he could keep an eye on my deer and help guide us in as we go to recover it. I ended up with more shooting to follow up my low hit. What a great hunt we had here on the 4J Ranch, Bill Mankin's place. Ryan Rotier, our guide, Matt and I, what a great time. Antelope, mule deer, couldn't have had really any more fun. Really appreciate everything and uh, just a, the beautiful area that we've hunted here. We're just a little bit south of Gillette, Wyoming. It's the season opener. We've had a great hunt. We have seen numerous amounts of mule deer and antelope and uh, we've had several different stalks. We had seen this deer a couple of times over the last two days and I like the stickers on him. And um, he's not a great, you know, he's a four by three. He does have brow tines, but he was just a neat deer. Uh, you know, a, a cool looking mule deer. I've shot several mule deer, but I just like the way he looked and he was in a good spot. Matt was behind the camera. Uh, he captured the shot and um, I hit him a little bit low. So uh, we had to sneak up and shoot him again. We didn't get any of that, but um, 
That's why my quiver's looking a little weak there, if you know what I mean. But it was a great hunt. I just want to really thank everybody. And uh, we can't wait for the rest of our fall because, I mean, I think we're pretty much, you'd have to say we're starting off with a bang. So stay tuned for more action. A1 Archery, hunting 365, no off-season.